Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Happy Earth Day. Happy 420. Um, I know they're not the same day, but they're pretty close. Celebration of all things green. <laughs> so, um, in honor of that, we are using some greenish blues tonight uh, to celebrate our earth and the water and the grass and the sky and the sun. And I'm very excited about this one. We're going to do another golf ball pour like we did in my double ball dare with Sarah Mack, <laughs> which was so much fun. And you guys were so awesome with all your comments. I really appreciate that. So we're gonna go again. I am gonna lay down a base coat real quick. I did try this last night and I had some issues with my consistency. So I think I've corrected the problem and we're gonna go again. Let me show you those colors real quick. First of all, I just wanted to give a shout out to HOA for these awesome shelves that he built for me which are amazing and can hold all my paints. And it's like so nice to actually have this place coming together. It's just, it's been awesome. So thank you, HOA, you are amazing as always. Okay, first color we have, these are from Fiona. These are Artie's colors. This is their turquoise. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love turquoise, really, really pretty. Everything is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and the paint and some Floetrol leaving a slight mound on a mound and then disappearing. So that's the turquoise. Then I also have Prussian blue from Artie's Colors as well. Gorgeous, deep, rich, delicious blue. I love this color, I really do. And you can see the difference between the Prussian blue and the phthalo blue. Phthalo blue is a lot brighter. Okay, and we're gonna use the phthalo as our base coat. So that's the Prussian blue, Artie's Colors. Mound on a mound and then sinks, okay? Then we have the last Artie's colors we're using is their Thalo Green, and that's this one. Very pretty, bright, very happy color. I really like green. Great color. Underappreciated color. <laughs> but it's the color of leaves and plants and, you know, grass and just awesome stuff. I really have such an appreciation for growing things, so green is one of my favorite colors. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, we have Amsterdam Titanium White here. And I also have Arteza's Glacier Blue, Pearl Glacier Blue. That's this one. Now, I have tried very, very hard to get everything to be the same consistency because that was the issue that I was think I think I was having last night was a couple of my paints were a different consistency than the others. And when I went to tilt it, it just started doing the jagged lines and awful things. The next one is Cool Mint by Modern Masters. And that's this one over here. Very, very pretty. Reminiscent of my Pearl Pistachio Green which I could have used, but it was down in the other studio and this was right here, so <laughs> we're going with this one instead. Okay, so that's the Cool Mint. And we also have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And last time we did this, my gold was a little thin, so I have mixed it a little thicker tonight in hopes that it doesn't spread quite so much. And I'm also not gonna use this as the color on the top of the puddles, so it doesn't spread quite so much. Okay. So, we're going to put our base coat down. The base coat is this Thalo Blue by Liquitex. Okay, so, that's why the canvas is already blue. <laughs> but it's the same Thalo Blue. I'm actually going to do the edges and sides first. I'm just going to dip my fingers in there and go over them one last time. For this with the with the golf ball, I think that if your base coat is too thin, it's also a problem because different consistencies seem to be a very big issue with this. And the other thing I have learned is to tilt it slowly. Because when I was doing it last night, I think I was kind of tired and maybe rushing a bit, and I was tilting quickly, and when I was tilting it fast, instead of the ball rolling evenly and uniformly and nicely, it was making these troughs, like digging through the paint and leaving this line where I saw the base coat, which was opposite of what we wanted. So <laughs> we're gonna go slow tonight. Our base coat is pretty much the same consistency as all the other ones, but I think this is gonna work well. 
I'm very excited about this one actually. That's pretty good. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do that I didn't do last time, I was putting the puddles down last time and it was kind of messy. So I'm going to put them into little smaller cups so that I can actually squeeze the cup and control how much comes out. So let's start. Here's our white. Then the glacier blue. Shall we start with? I think I want to start with the Prussian blue. I'm also not going to put 17 puddles on here this time. We are going to go for, I think it's 10 or 11? 11. 11? Yeah, so, okay. We're going to do four across the top. So that's the middle. So we're going to put one here. I think we are ready to rock and roll. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am Alice. I am ready. Mm -hmm. We're going to put our golf ball right in the center. And here we go. We're going to tilt this slowly.
ですね。で、うん、OK、Thank you, little golf ball. That was awesome. Okay, so now the question is, is how much do we want to tilt it out? I do like the negative space on here, so I wouldn't mind leaving some negative space. But I don't want to leave too much negative space. This edge just looks a little thin right here. Job right, these lines should stay nice and smooth, which thankfully they are. <laughs> Last night it was like right off the bat, just jagged peaks. Weight of the paint back down to the center. And we're just going to let it go down off that last corner. Center. And we're just going to bring the paint back down towards the middle and let it sort of open up.
like this corner, this side, or do I not like it? Because I could probably take it off, but then this side is going to end up doing what that's doing. <laughs> I think I'll just take it down a little bit more. Okay, now, are there any parts that you see that I should be aware of? <laughs> no, no mine parts. <laughs> For what it's worth, I like the hinge over there. You do? And the gold on it, I do. The little gold self popping up? Yep. Okay. Um, there's a few areas I wouldn't mind rolling the ball through again, like in here and through here and through here. So I think I am going to do that. I'm going to use a different ball though that's already dry. And we're just going to go real slow. We're not going to go fast. Okay. Whoop. I like this second go up pass with the golf ball because I think it's giving us those pretty smooth lines and I'm not going to tilt it out again after this, so they're going to stay smooth and pretty. That's gonna fill in, I'm pretty sure. So this is looking really awesome. I'm very happy with this now. I'm really like, so much happier than I was last night because <laughs> last night did not work. Actually, there's a little bit of a, you think I should go through here with it one more time? Through that big swath of gold or it looks cool? That's true. Right. I hope that fills in. glue in through there. Take it. 
and then we're going to torch this. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the colors. I like the composition. I really like that we went through again through the second time. I could have used maybe one more in through here, but I still like it. And I like those smoother lines and I don't want to tilt it again because I don't want them to go with, you know, I think I do want to do the ball just through here one more time. Let's torch this and then we will be all finished. That's very cool. You know, I'm not a paper towels now. <laughs> the reason I wipe my hands before I torch it is because I don't want to get my torch all full of paint because then it won't light. Okay, here we go. Do you want to do the Okay, so observations. Last time I had a lot more paint on there because I had so many more puddles. Just gonna take it down just a little bit if it wants to go. And so I think the paint was moving a little easier because I had so many puddles. But um, I think it was too much and I ended up tilting a lot of that off. But it was the vehicle for the golf ball to move around easy. So when I did it last night, I had less puddles and less paint and it was not cooperating. <laughs> so this worked much better. Main thing, consistency, have everything be the same consistency, even the base coat. So this was great, this was awesome. I love these colors. I really love all these lines. Let me point with this. How it like blended in there and you're seeing all the different colors are really, really pretty. I love that gold. I really like the phthalo blue. I love the turquoise in there. I love that there's bits of the darker Prussian blue. This is really pretty. A little cluster of gold cells there. Very cool. You probably could have used one more roll through here. Just to sort of balance this. I'm gonna put it back in there and do it one more. Because I don't like this thing very much right there. Nice and slow. All right, 
That's it, I'm done. <laughs> so this will not be dry by tomorrow morning, but I will show you guys on Thursday for sure. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you all so much for your support and your encouragement. Um, I have packed up all of the giveaway pieces and they are in boxes and they're awaiting labels and then FedEx is gonna come pick them up. So pretty exciting stuff. I will message all the winners with their tracking information and uh, yeah, so this is cool. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.